Hi, this is Josie in Josie's Fun Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make Italian sausage soup. I'm going to list the ingredients below, underneath, and also I'm going to have a printable version for you and you can check out josiesfunkitchen.com as well. And before I move on, please subscribe or hit the like button and the thumbs up button if you like this video. So let me go ahead and start cutting this stuff up. I'm going to skin this and take the sausage out of the casing before I put it in the pan. So I'll be back. Again, let's have some fun in the kitchen. Okay, just showing you kind of how I'm doing this. You can buy this <laughs> with the skin already off, but you just take the casing off. And if you have trouble with it, I take the knife and look at that. This is how easy it is. I don't have my fan up because, well, I should put the fan up because then what's going to happen is you might have a fire alarm go off. Now we're putting it right in there. You hear that? Gonna cook that, fry it up till it's no longer pink. I got all the vegetables chopped. The Italian sausage is no longer pink. And there really isn't a lot of fat to drain through it, but I'm still gonna drain it. That is what some people call yum yums, or that's the gold right there. I'm gonna use some olive oil. So, first I'm gonna throw in the onions. and let them soften up a little bit. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. You're gonna have to eyeball this one. And just mix it in. I'm gonna say that the onions are optional. Some people don't like onions in their soup. I like onions in my soup. I think it tastes good. It gives it really good flavor. The onions are a little soft. Now, adding the garlic. And with the onion and the garlic, it's picking up some of that sausage. I'm gonna put this sausage back in. We're adding the carrots. Mmm, smells good. the stewed tomatoes and the beef stock. And I'm gonna rinse out, obviously, the can. Just watch this. Take some kitchen shears and cut up these stewed tomatoes because they are not whole, they're sliced stewed tomatoes. Not everybody likes a big piece of tomato. Zucchini goes in. And we're gonna simmer this for another 15 minutes. The timer just went off. Okay, I can do this without the hot. All right, 15 minutes has gone. Four cups. I packed the spinach in here. We're gonna put that all in here. Because remember, the spinach will get very, very tiny when it shrinks. Turn off the temperature or turn off the stove. Mix it in. We'll be back for a little. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back for the taste test. 
So cover it up. See you in a bit. Okay. Mmm. Smells really, really good. Actually, I'm going to season it to taste. Let's just taste it. Get a bowl. You have many options with this soup. I would say you can put some sour cream on it, um, Parmigiano Reggiano, or just Parmesan cheese on it. Take a piece of crusty bread, a baguette, dip it in. It's absolutely delicious. Okay, taste test time. I'm checking out the carrots. Let's see if they're good. The onions are. Okay. Ah, I want a little spinach too. And a zucchini. There we go. A little spinach, zucchini. Okay. Oh, this smells really good. Now, an option, you could throw some bay leaves in there. Sometimes I throw bay leaves, you could throw wine. The nice thing about cooking is you can do what you want. Mm -hmm. You know what? Nothing is mushy. It's nice and crunchy. The sausage, sweet Italian sausage, yum. The broth is really good. And you know what? You can freeze this and this is a wonderful, mm, 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 mm. very, very good. So until next time, thank you very much for coming to my kitchen and enjoying having fun in Josie's fun kitchen. And please subscribe and turn your notifications to all and tell your friends about Josie's fun kitchen with all my fun, different recipes that I have until next time, have fun in your kitchen.